Hey everybody, I'm Timeline Gamer. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Right now, Zelda's just hearing voices in her head. Who's calling for me? Oh, sorry. Tugluco, I, I got distracted for a moment. Let's see. Let's go. Just, just, I, I hear people, voices in my head sometimes. It's, it's not fun. They tell me to do things. Horrible. Horrible things. Look! There he is! Yes, Zelda, I can see with my own eyes. Oh, no doubt about it. That's your loft wing, Tugligoo. I'm gonna run up to it first. No, I'm not. I'm gonna run up this far. Pray. Goddess is... Do something to get it down. Send help. Oh, hang on. Uh, I got an eyelash hair in my mouth. I don't know how that happened. Come on, birdie. That's gross. I don't know where that came from. Come, bird. Spread your wings. Gracefully fly upon the skies. Soar like the crimson bird you are. Like the sky ablaze. Burn the clouds. Show them why you're called crimson. Rocket through the sky. I just have a man. I would love to fly. Except not on a plane because I get motion sick. But I would just... Well, we should hurry, Tucker Lagoon. Now that your loft room is free, you should fly for the ceremony. Who the hell keeps calling me? Wrong number. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I, I hear this voice. I heard this voice a few minutes ago. Did you hear it? It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strange feeling, the strangest feeling. Almost like someone's calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say it's an empty barren place. Or even, there's nothing at all down below. But I just had this feeling that there's, they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe the whole world under these far more vast than Skyloft. The thing is, no one's ever been below there to see it, and our loftums won't fly through the clouds either, cloud barriers. But I can't help imagine the wild things that might be waiting for it below. Someday. I want to see for myself. Is that too quiet to go through the mic? Probably. <laughs> oh, sorry, Tegligoo. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Just leap down and press down. You know that thing I taught you about an hour ago? And don't worry about falling. Your bird will catch you for sure this time. Bitch, I'm gonna trust you. <laughs> Ready? Come, birdie! Oh yeah, I gained an extra 10 pounds with the sword, so, uh... Um, deal with that. Wee! Free fall! Come, birdie! I also really enjoyed this part of the game, too. Where you're just... You're just Flying around all bad motion trolley. Also, you gotta crack the window. Make your bird fly. Totally. Let's run your bird through the basics just to make sure it's not hurt. Otherwise, we're gonna teach you some flying mechanics. You can change directions by tilting the wheel remote as you are currently doing right now. Left and right. You want to speed up? Swing the wheel remote up to gain some altitude. And point the rear mode down to dive fast. So again, tilt the rear mode up and point the rear mode down. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> so how's the handle? Do you feel flying alright? While riding your left wing, you can press 2 at any time to replace your control speed. You can also press A to charge. Let me do it! <laughs> See? 
Where did Zelda go? Oh, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Tugaloo. Your luck only looks like me. Get flying castle. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, last time I did the... Yeah, last time I did this work ceremony. Sorry, I'm yawning. I did... I think I did it in mere seconds. I'm... Safe. I'm not trying to boast or anything, but... I, like, I, I just... I was really fast. I was really amazed. I'm never gonna be able to do that again. You know, after me is really amazing, especially considering everything poor guy... I've been through this morning. I'm going to, I'm going to fly back and tell father what happened. So, are the Lofflings just not allowed on the Skyloft? Well, well, well. If it isn't Tugligu. Ow, this also hurts. Quarter <coughs> on the plaza is you found your dumb bird. Or yourself. Well, that's just great because you and your dumb bird can't tell time well. Uh, press warm-ups and me guys did well, there's nothing to shut up. We've been waiting forever for the race to start and delay it for it to you? I don't get it. Big Fake gets special treatment. <laughs> you're almost a man, you're almost a man and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I mean, yeah. Would you? No. So shut up. I bet you can't even decide what to have lunch on your- No, because we go out sometimes and you know, she'll pick what she wants for lunch and I'll pick what I want for lunch and sometimes we'll like, well, I think we want each other to have and it's like, it's kind of weird. It's, it's a cute thing, you know. We go for lunch sometimes, like, oh, can we get the special, can we get this, and we'll share it. So yeah, sometimes we pick why she- Shut up! Ow! I just lost my voice! <clears throat> Shut up! And you don't think we have noticed the smug look? Oh, Zelda and I are best friends. I never said that. I have never once said that. We're, we go everywhere together. I never said that either. Because I don't talk. Oh. Also, yeah, we're childhood friends. We go places. It's, you and your friends go places. You don't see me complaining. Do you think you're pretty savvy? Do you? Well, do you? There's just been going on forever about how he's gonna be the one to be with Zelda. And he's really got this um, word of ruffle about a brother. <laughs> and you're here. I had to break to you, but day's the day, the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in, Zelda's playing the role of the goddess today. Alright, uh, that's not even right. No, no, um... Whatever. When I hear she made it herself, man! No way I was gonna let some scrawny cut down snatch the prize from me. Oh yes, that skiff, skiff, sailcloth would be mine. <laughs> Menacing laugh. Oh man, I bet she would. No man, I bet she was talking to me and she was just snitching. Yup. I can see it now. First I win the big race and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together and statue and just two of us. And now every special moment alone, nobody stopping me and Zelda from having a moment or it is real like I can't I can see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Screws, screws! Behind you! Right behind you! Dumb s**t! What? Can't you two see I'm in the middle of a... Um... <laughs> well... I'm in trouble. <laughs> Care to explain just what you mean by our special moment alone? <laughs> uh, um, nothing really big really, I just... just... Uh... Don't go through. Yeah, I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was he found his... The red birds of, you know, oh, am I looking forward to this race. <clears throat> Off our race. Anyhow, later, Zelda. Look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. You're such a dumb shit. Link's like, I fucking hate that guy. Bad news! 
Wow, I went a little bit overboard. All right, I'll see you guys on the next episode of uh, Timeline Gamer Skyward Sword.